this is a sad case, but one that's going to get better, probably by Monday. This is a Friday night. Excuse me. Yeah, it is Friday night. Alright. Back off a little bit. This is Pele. It's a uh, Nandu Chromatis. Brazilian black and white. Or, excuse me, Brazilian black and red. Again, that's why I don't do uh, common names. They're confusing as all get out. But, uh, this one used to live here. Real thick dirt. I've uh, always kept the water dish full. Water dish has some water in it now. I've kept uh, pouring water in here lately. And it was in a death curl. So, as you can see, what I did put it in the dish. And I'm going to make a thread about this. It's probably where you're going to see it. Unless you're a subscriber to my channel. But, uh,. Instead of an ICU with paper towels and a water dish inside, it's the easiest thing to do, and this is something I got from Paul Becker. I didn't come up with this myself. Uh, Paul Becker at Pet Center USA. Uh, I've talked to him about uh, other teas and have, hadn't had to use this. The one I mentioned was uh, the Examanus that I have on my site or on the channel that I was actually missing fangs, so it wasn't dehydrated, and never wasn't a death curl, so that's why I never did, did this to it. So, I've, uh, let me get a flashlight. <clears throat> I, uh, the water dish is that, what I, I use these a lot for water dishes, it's underneath, and it's to where it'll tilt the cup this way, and I had it half full of water yesterday, and it's been doing this ever since. Soaking its face in it because tarantulas can lose their hydration within one to two days. But it will take three to four days for them to fully get back to where they are. And see, it's it's still struggling to move correctly because I don't know if who's watching this. Some people will know, some don't. Tarantulas work like a hydraulic system. And when they lose their uh, hydraulic pressure, which is called, you know, created from uh, liquids, water, and food they eat from crickets, they that's why they curl, and that's why they'll die. And, I mean, sometimes it's old age, but if it's a dehydration thing, it's from a uh, you know, lack of water, so they don't have the pressure to move their legs right. And if you see, if you tilt it right, it's, it's able to keep the book lungs out of the water. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's barely above the surface level of the water. And this is a hell of a lot better than an ICU, in my opinion. Because people start here in ICU, anytime they think their tarantula is hurt, they put it in ICU. The whole point of an ICU is to rehydrate your tarantula. This, in my opinion, and I wish Paul had posted it, but I'm going to do a thread on arachnoboards. And let everyone know, when you have a dehydrated tea, put them in this. If it's a bigger tea, put them in a, you know, a hell of a lot bigger deli cup. Maybe something like that, or the Agena Colada, which is drinking some water. Or this, uh, Chilean Flame Runk Youthless Species Red is in. Or, excuse me, Youthless Species Chilean Flame, whatever. But, uh... Yeah, this is the best way. This has been drinking water since last night when I put it in here. And I just figured I definitely need to get a video of this. Because, I mean, just about everyone eventually will run into a situation where they have a dehydrated tea. And, yeah, this is the flame rump container that it came in when I got it sent here. But, uh, but yeah... Everyone's going to unfortunately have to deal with this, and this tarantula I know will be fine. It's surprisingly been okay. I've kept filling the water dish up, kept getting it to go into the water and drink water, and it didn't get better, so I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, and I'm going to make it get better. And it's down there sucking face in the water. 
So, but see, you tilt it that way, it can keep its butt out. It can, it gives, it's not completely covered in water to where it has to keep lifting its butt, which you know takes more uh, energy for it. But it's definitely keeping its butt out of the water, and it's been drinking. So, I'll do an update here in a few days, and it should be fine. And I'm gonna redo its enclosure and completely uh it's probably gonna be like a 60 40 mix uh 60 percent vermicelite 40 percent dirt i'm gonna keep it as moist as i can i mean i've got other moisture teas like uh here i've got a back out to where you can see mega fabima mesomelis and that's a bottom of a vial that i got from a douchebag called uh alex 080 that was a scammer and i used the vial that he sent me some cielagons in it was part of my order, which was not entirely correct, and it's where I ended up uh, ratting them out to everyone on arachna boards, because everyone was scared for some reason, thinking that because Rob C gave a bunch of reviews about them, and Alex gave him a bunch of uh, free items, that it was going to come back on him, so no one outed the guy. But where is it? There it is. Let's see if I can get it. It's, uh, it's hard to see. It's in the corner. It's a Mega Fabima Mesomelis. Gotta keep them moist. I'm gonna have to re. I, I sprayed the substrate a couple of days ago. I'm gonna have to do it again, but I got a little mini water dish plus a bigger one with just a little bit of water in case it needs to get into it. And down here we've got a baby, our Juvie T Blondie. And did the same with its substrate about two days ago. And that white stuff you see is a uh, vermicelite. It repels mold. It's. Uh, uh, I've got a water dish that is still full, so in case it needs water. And down here we've got a Megaphobema robustum that needs to be kept moist too, which it has, and it's moved all of its dirt around. It needs a bigger home so it can burrow down and be happy. But, uh, see, I've definitely got teas that need higher humidity, and I've kept them fine. This one, for some reason, just ends up losing its hy hydration. So that's why I did this right here. And if anyone ever, uh, hopefully this will replace the whole ICU. This, in my opinion, is a a huge improvement on it, just because there's they're constantly, not because they're constantly in water. They can move up to where kind of like that line of light is right there. And yeah, that's pretty much where the water goes to. It's kind of farther down now. It's down to more of where its butt is. I'm going to fill it back up with some water tomorrow. But yeah, Pele is definitely going to make it. I'm not I'm not terribly worried. Like I said, she's been sucking face for a while there. With that water. I uh, might have a E. Marinus getting a drink there. At least was for a second. But yeah, hopefully this will help y'all out. And anything explain to a few people about the hydration of tarantulas and hopefully this will be the the new ICU and I honestly want to get rid of the term ICU because everyone thinks anything's wrong with my tarantula it's acting weird it's not climbing walls let's stick it in the ICU it's not a bad thing but it's it's not necessary the uh, whole reason is hydration and this is a better method of it and I give full credit to Paul Becker for this, and I'll probably send him a link. Hopefully, maybe he'll put this video on his uh, on his site or something. But here we go. All right, I'll update Pele here in uh, probably about two days, and we'll see how she's doing. And I'm pretty sure eventually she looks like a girl, so we'll update her in a couple of days. All right, thanks for watching.